guys and welcome back to my channel today i am showing you my eid makeup so um yeah let's get started so the first thing that i am doing is doing my primer this is the luminous silk primer from giorgio armani um i've actually done a separate video on this and i really like it so i will link that video as well if you are interested it's a really really nice moist um not moisturizer primer um and just helps the foundation um stick to it it is not for oily skin i will say that much but it's really really good so yeah that is going all over my face next i'm going in with my charlotte tilbury light wonder foundation um all the names and colors i will add in the title of this video so don't worry um, i'm just using this mainly um, in the well starting with the middle of my face and then i'm just spreading this out um along my face everywhere just so that i have um a bit of a like a glowy base before i go on with my heavier foundation and for my foundation i'm using my estee lauder foundation this is the double wear again all the um, shades and colors that i'm using will be mentioned on the screen here somewhere for you i'm not using a lot just using a tiny bit uh, on my hand and i'll just drop this around my face um, because it's a heavy foundation you don't really need a lot and it's one of my favorites so adding this to my face and then i'm just blending everything with a damp um, real technique sponge you can use a beauty blender you can use um a brush as well actually um but i find that using a sponge is much much better um brushes not so much then to correct my dark circles I'm using um, the Benefit Boying uh, Brightening Concealer in the number 2 I think. Um, again it just helps with um, covering dark circles before I add my actual concealer. If you don't have dark circles you don't need to use this of course you can skip the step. For concealer I'm using my Tarte um, Concealer. This again a tiny bit goes a long long way and uh, so i'm literally just using a dot each and um i've noticed that i um that it actually looks much better under the eyes if i use my finger next i'm going in with my eye primer this is the eye primer potion from urban decay this is the original one you can use any other one i've used um eden which is like a skin color like a beige skin color um which also is very nice you can use either of the two but um i finished that one and now i've bought the original one and um yeah i like both of them they really really help with foundations next i'm going to set my under eyes with the number seven um face powder it, this is really really good stuff um it's actually really nice i'm using this under my eyes and on my lids as well to set my concealer and my primer before we go on to eyeshadow next i'm going to set my face with my charlotte tilbury airbrush i think it's called flawless airbrush um, powder um i use this in the color medium i believe and yeah just help in to set the foundation and then um going in with my bronzer from chanel again a cult classic everyone and anyone i know who has tried this has um fallen in love and so have i so just adding that to the tops of my cheeks uh not really as a as a um concealer not concealer not as a contour but i'm just using this as a bronzer and then yeah on my forehead under my chin and on my cheeks next i'm going in with my blush which is from florence um this is the line by millie bobby brown and i'm just using um her cream blush again the um, num the names and colors will be mentioned on the screen just using my finger first to put this on my cheeks and um again i think you can use any kind of technique i'm using a bit on the nose as well but obviously i've overdone this and now i'm blending it <laughs> with my real technique sponge because i went overboard and also i think it just looks nice um much nicer blended in with my sponge next i'm going in with this my my gorgeous 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 dior highlighter 
um, this is, I'm using with um, a sponge instead of a brush because I think it just looks much nicer much more natural with um, this if you want to use a um, brush you can do so uh, but this is not like bam in your face kind of highlight it's a very subtle it's like more of a sheen so i use this um above my eyebrows on my cupid's bow and on the high top high point on my cheek for eyeshadow i'm using the smashbox vlada plus uh, vlada rose gold palette i think that's what it's called i'm just using this color it's more like a um, cool toned brown um, and i'm just using this um to basically trace out my crease um, I have slightly hooded eyes so I just use I usually make a slightly higher crease so that when I open my eyes you can see some of the eyeshadow so I'm just using that in my crease and blending it all in then I'm using this beautiful beautiful um, rose goldy coppery color um, it is a shimmer so I'm using my fingers to put that on all over my lid um, you can use a flat brush if you like but to be honest I found that the, the finger is the best way to use this color because you can definitely pack more punch then I'm using this dark brown matte dark brown color um, at the end of the palette um, and this will just be on the outer V as as people say as the professionals say the outer V of my eye just to give my eye more depth um, and more of a shape um, because obviously once we put um, all the other colors in there's not much depth left is there no there isn't anyway um, yeah so I'm just buffing that in trying to blend all of that beautiful color in so my eyes look nicer I guess um, next I'm just using that rose gold um, color with a small flat brush and I'm adding that to the lower lash line just so that how the whole look is um, ties in nicely then I am going in with my um, this highlighter it's like a rosy gold highlighter more of a gold bit of a pinkish tone um, and I'm using this um, under my brow bone again I don't do this all the time but hey it's Eid then um, you know so why not so I've just used this under my eyebrow uh, my brow and bone and on the inner parts of my eyes as well to brighten those babies up next I'm using my eyelash curlers Next, going in with my eye, Isla um, mascara, not really mascara, sorry, an eyebrow. I'm not really sure what it's called. Um, it's actually one of my favorites. Again, I'll just put the, the names in. Um, it's actually double ended, so it's got like a pigment on one end, and then it's got um, um, a setting clear gel um, on the other. But then I'm also using my L'Oreal eyebrow plumper on top because, you know my eyebrows have become really sad these days I've over plucked them and I've literally lost all my eyebrows so this is me trying to help myself and my eyebrows for mascara I'm using the Monsieur Big from Lancome one of my absolute favorites look at them lashes they are amazing oh my god I love this mascara I've literally got one literally everywhere my handbag my makeup bag my makeup drawer um ev literally every everywhere for lipstick i am going to be uh, for lips i'm actually going to be line my lips first so this is like a, a nyx lip pencil in the color nude i want to say yeah i think it's called nude um just lining my lips with that first and then on top of that i'm using another uh nyx lip liner which is more of like a reddish brown just to give my lips a bit more depth um you, you don't really need to use both but i'm being a bit extra today and then for lipstick i'm using the revlon uh fire and ice lipstick this is again a beautiful strong um bright in your face just a beautiful beautiful bold color and i absolutely love this And voila, we are done. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is the look. 
I hope you like this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!